Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays Minecraft Pintopia where we have quite a cave system down here. It goes really, really deep. I guess someday we'll have to go and find out what's all down here and make sure it doesn't interfere too much with our plans. And our plans has to do with building a museum as I mentioned in the last episode. So let's get back to the beginning area and start to think about the layout for what we are doing. All right, I put this here to indicate that this is where we are going to be centering our museum. Now the problem is that we are on top of a hill and then I'm... Okay, I didn't quite mean to put it there. It was a good place to put the bed. Uh, right over here. All right, we'll put the bed over there. Just have to remember that's where I put. Oh yeah, what? Ah, no, this is world spawn anyway, so I don't think I need to reset my spawn point at the moment. Yes. Now I want to be in this area here, right in the middle of this flower forest. So it looks like building a botanical garden in this area is going to be. Not very difficult because it looks like Mother Nature is providing that much for us. Or at least Minecraft nature, I guess, probably. And what I'm going to need to do is I am going to have to bring down these trees and bring down this hill piece by piece because I certainly cannot build the entire museum in that small of a space. That's just going to be preposterous. So I'm going to need some flat area. So I'm going to flatten it down. Probably what I'm going to do is take this, maybe bring this dirt over here. Now we've got this place right over here. That's only uh, that's going to be a little bit of a difficulty. That's pretty close to where I was thinking. Maybe I'm going to have to build it somewhere else. Looks like I'm going to have to try to explore for a better location because right now we've got this huge cave system right under us. We've got this cave mouth over here. I guess I could just cover that up. Then, of course, we've got this bee living right over here. And taking down the bees is not going to be very nice because then I might be able to find a good use for the honey. So perhaps I should look for a better area. Now the question is which direction? Now last time I went east and west it looks like it's time for more exploring because I'm beginning to not like this area as my primary focus point. Now south, south leads us to the mountain down over there. Let's see what's over in that area. Maybe we could find some place that could be of use. we got flowers all over the place. Oh, and, and some large flowers. All right, that's good. And I've got oh yeah, lots of fun stuff there. So let's head on our way and find out what seas. We got this mountain. Now obviously I am not going to be building a museum on top of a mountain. That is not going to work out considering the scales of which things usually go in Minecraft. Let's see. Now. That chicken. Unfortunately, I need a feather. It's the unfortunate bit is is from the point of view of the chicken, of course. Uh, did I get at least get a feather for it? So I only had, I did not get a chick feather. Ah, well, poor chicken, poor chicken to die for nothing. Because I'm hoping to have a feather for 
making of brush so that if I run into some ruins or, or anything like that I will be able to get to them. Now let's see what do I get up 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 let's get to the summit and see what is beyond what's beyond apparently is snow oh yeah Well, and a savannah. A savannah. Well, does that mean there's a desert nearby? Because a desert would be nice. Because a desert could be a good place for starting our archaeological adventures. Of course, finding other types of ruins could be just as well, but deserts at least have temples and the temples are <laughs> nice places in which to gather some things and no feathers alright well then this is gonna take some time I think ah more chickens you have any feathers Ah, I assume that means I got a feather, considering that it says I can make arrows now. Well, not necessarily make arrows now, but I got an ingredient for it. But I also got means I got an ingredient for a... Oh my goodness gracious. That doesn't look like a healthy place to fall. Nope, not at all. Actually, I probably should take a little bit of acacia here. There we go. We want to make sure that we have samples of each type. Oh, oops. Okay, I, I see another one there. Or it looks like, speaking of another one, I need another little rest here. Alright, now. now. How about if I can get that piece of wood? Can I get that piece of wood? Well, if I get all these leaves out of the way, perhaps. Alright, well, that could start to decay as I get on a little bit of sleep. Now that the night is over, let's see if I could make a brush. Just to see if I got the recipe right. There's a brush. A feather, a copper ingot, and a stick. There we go. Now, all we need is something to brush, and we will be fine. That's probably going to take a while. Now where were we? Oh yes, we were heading south to see if there's anything else beyond this mountain. It looks like more snow. Well, I suspect we'll be turning around soon and seeing what's to the north. Actually, is the savannah a good place maybe for... Building. One possibility, of course, is doing it near the village. Mm, the trouble with building things near villages is that it tends to attract nasties to the vicinity of the village, and that means protecting the village and all of that. And while in an earlier season I did do that, in fact, it was the entire point of the season. That uh, isn't the intent of this particular season. Now, the thing I'm wondering about is, is there any iron around here? Hmm, some iron would be really, really... Yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. Good, iron. Now, how much iron have I got? I'm trying to make... Do, do I have anything made of iron? No, I have absolutely no armor. I know it's, you would think I would remember what I did in the last episode, but apparently not. There you go. He's I had thought I had found at least some iron at some point. But what I did with it, I really can't think of it. Hmm. Well. Perhaps it was my imagination. Always a possibility. But this looks like a nice supply of iron. And I did see another bit over there. 
Okay. It was my imagination then because it just told me that was my first iron. Oh, that's right. I was looking for iron and didn't find any. I guess that's what happened last time. Now, where was I? Now, I put a furnace right over here. Let's see. We have got seven. I guess seven will have. That's a nice amount in there. We'll just cook that up. Now, most likely, this pickaxe isn't going to last too much longer. But don't worry, I'll soon have an iron pickaxe. Well, actually, let's take this one since we're... There are eight on one piece of coal anyway, so I might as well finish that up. There we go. Got the last bit on that. Now, what have we got? Let's get our iron pick. Oh. It might help if I actually... A goat. You know, I'm not even too sure I've... Ah! Okay, 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 fine. I gotta be careful because I've got a goat in the area. All nice and calm until it decides to charge at you. Maybe I can get a goat horn. Yeah? 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 Uh, I, I'm, going, I'm going to go somewhere else. I think this is the first time I've ever naturally encountered a goat in the game. Not too sure what to do about it, but I would say staying away from getting headbutted might be a good idea. Alright, we got that, and we got this. Ah! Oh. Ooh, oh, now that looks like a really beautiful spot. I really don't feel like going through this because there could be snow traps and I could be falling down deep into the snow, trapped forever. Like a... Like a fly in amber. Hold on. Oh. Ooh, I almost made quite a mistake there. We don't want to... Alright, there isn't a goat here, right? At least one that's likely to bash me on the side with its horns. And now, let's get us over here. Good. Oh, we, oh, oh, we already did that, yes. I managed to get that. I know, it's secretly plotting. Now, let's see if I can make a pickaxe without being rudely interrupted this time. Right. Really? Is this, do they just go to the most annoying location they could possibly be? <laughs> I'm just not trusting that thing. All right. I just want to make sure I get some iron before I retreat from this location. So it looks like this is going to be goat infested. And I don't feel like having to deal with that constantly. And I have to be careful. He might just butt me down the side of the mountain. Alright, I think I'm just going to head back to the center and then see what's up to the north so that we could actually make a decent assessment. Ooh, my, 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 my. I did not see that when I explored west last time. Probably I wasn't high enough in order to see it. 
But yeah, there is an outpost there. So we are going to have to deal with that at some point. Yeah. Alright, so that's probably going to involve us getting killed a few times. So it's probably best not to attack that. Yeah, okay, we've got is that a Savannah village or is that the Plains village we were in earlier? Or is my memory really bad in that before we were in a Savannah village? Well, that could also be true. Uh, let's see, let's take a swift sleep. So that now we can head on by the village and see what's over there. Oopsie daisy. Crops, of course. Alright, that's typical. A golem. Alright, well, they don't know anything about... Ooh, we've got melons here. Of course, yeah, this looks like a... a new spot. So this could be, this is village number two. Oh, here's a well. Of course, that's a savannah well, not a desert well, so it's not going to have any special suspicious sand or anything like that in there. Uh, oh, a bucket. Ooh, a bucket. Mm, about I'll say twenty copper is a fair trade. All right, now let's. G yes, I know, I know. It's like. <laughs> Not too many players bother trading something with at least an excuse that they're trading with them. But that's something that I do at least. Uh, let's see. Leather boots. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. What I really need, of course, is a source of emeralds. But I'll have to think about that in a moment. So I could actually do some real trading with them. There we go. Oh, what's up here? Uh -huh. A cartographer! Hmm. 24 paper. Yeah, like I'm going to have 24 paper on me at the moment. But that may be something to remember. That I do have a paper trade available. Oh, actually, this is... Oh yeah, here's the flower forest. Yes, I have returned to the flower forest. Up along here, down along the river, and... And of course, a hill right next to it, so that I'm not able to... get through here. Kiss the spine? Ah, much better. I think I need a place that's a little bit flatter if I'm going to be building this. Of course, I could always flatten the area, but I think I pretty much established earlier that flattening this place is probably not going to work very well considering that all that's beneath it, or I should say what's not beneath it, meaning solid rock is not beneath it. I'm just imagining some horrible things happening. So I guess that means north is the last location we need to go. So let's head north and maybe maybe we'll find something assuming I can get through this area. Huh. Actually this is 
an area. This is just to the east of our target location. So if I go, I'm thinking maybe shift what I was planning by 120 blocks. That might work. So let's head on by here and let's go to a center point that is here. Now this is where we can get him out to our start point. Good. Now what I was thinking then is what if we look a little bit more immediately in here and mm, now this isn't all that great but it looked like that when we go maybe 120 by well we got this big huge gap right in the middle but I was thinking maybe to the location 128 by 128 and it will work then again it might start raining and make it difficult for me to figure out anything. Here we are at 128.0. Nice and flat. Yeah, now this is a good building site. Now, we do have this nearby, but it's certainly not as much of a problem as what we had at our previous location. Well, except for the existence of a creeper. That that seems to be something that's a bit of a problem. Now, let's see. I didn't think about getting a shield, did I? Hmm. Well, let's okay, re go back a little bit. Get a shield. And once I have a shield, I could Double check for creepers. Did I? Yeah, no, no, here it is. I can't remember if I have a monster kill yet in this session, but let's go. Let's try a shield. We want. Okay, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. Or is it the other? Is it directional on which way you put the thing? Of course it is. There we go. Now, how about if we actually put the shield on the side on my offhand? Good. Let's put our thing here. Let's go and fight a creeper, I guess. Actually, where was that creeper? I lost a creeper! Oh no, no, no. Okay, it's. I think it's down this way somewhere. Well, actually. No, actually, you don't want to lose a creeper because. Because if a creeper is. If you don't know where the creeper is, then it's going to creep up on you. That That's the rule of creepers. Oh, yes, here it is, right next to our. Location. Hey, you see a creeper around here? All right. No, but there's a skeleton here. All right, let's see. And there you go. Okay. Well, that's what gives us the Monster Hunter then. I answers our question whether or not we have killed a monster yet. The answer to that is no, but is that a signal that it is dark outside? Yes, it is. Then the answer to that is wake up and get rid of the monsters. Now, now that we have taken care of that, well, not permanently, but that could be later. 
So, except for a minor little cave here, certainly a lot more pleasant than the location that we had before from the point of view of number of threatening caves and also we could be, so we are 50 away from here, so we've got Well, I don't think it's going to be too bad. I think I should be able to take care of that. Actually, let me go north and do some exploration to the north to see what's up in that direction. We have checked east and west and south, so of course we do have to check north. It's only fair. But I think we've got a pretty good idea of where we are actually going to build. But we also need to know where we're going to get resources and things like that. And where we're going to find some exotic things. And of course, most important of all, what about archaeological sites? We need archaeological sites. That's the entire point of this series. And maybe I'll actually find some someday. But this is just a first preliminary look around to get our area. Then we can, in the next episode, start clearing the area and getting it all ready. But right now, we've got... quite a large number of trees. But no ruins of any type. At least not that I have seen. And anything that looks like it could be a ruin of some sort is l maybe a potential one. I don't remember off the top of my head all of the archaeological sites and what they're liking on now. How about some sea runes? That could be a potential source of them because I think some of the sea ruins that they have in there, those ruined undersea villages, some of those do have archaeal, I think some suspicious sand in there. I don't see anything of this sort down here yet. Ah, oh, I haven't done any... I know I have gone a little bit... Hold on, what's that up there? I have gone a little bit into water. I do remember doing some... going into a river or something like that earlier, but nothing serious. But now, is this a ship up ahead? No, it, it is. It is a false hope. Oh well. Too bad. Yeah, nothing here that looks like it's going to be of any use to us whatsoever. And I would presume that this is a beach of some sort. And not anything like a desert or the sort, especially considering all the trees that are in the nearby area. So yes, we're not going to hit great pay dirt right on our first attempt. We are going to hit it's a lot of sand up here. And trees, of course. Ooh. Here is something promising. Not for archaeology, but it does at least look like a ship. Now, I think I'm going to, first of all, check the sun. Well, that's the east. Where's, oh, okay. well, I think I got enough for the moment. So let us go here. I think we need to finish off with some sort of little adventure. Let's see, I've got, I don't have much room in here. Oh, a pumpkin. Do I have any pumpkins yet? All right, there we go. Okay, 
good. No, okay, okay, a couple of pumpkins. That's always good. Now, sugar cane. Well, if we are going to have paper trades, we are going to need sugar cane. I know I started prepping here to... Actually, let's put the bed right over here. That way, if something goes wrong, I'll pop up right back at this location. We want to be safe, right? Even when we're being sent gun safe. Now, what can I find down here? Probably not much useful. Uh, uh, here's a door. Okay, that's not a way to handle things. Ah. Let's try this again. So, oh, there's a there is a chest. Problem is, I can't. I'm not able to get the door down. You would think. I thought that I could be able to do that there, and that is, I saw a chest in there. Problem is, like, this is not a promising location to put one of these things. Ah, oh, there we go. I'll put it right here. If I can find. Ah. <sighs> I need some way to improve my durability in the... Oh, uh, well, this... Oh, uh, well, oh, this is way too... Okay, this... No! Ah! Oh, well. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening there that I'm... I'm having a lot more trouble than this than I usually have in these places. Not sure why. So usually I have no trouble getting in in and oh. I was hoping I so I picked up the Yeah, this is a lot more trouble than usual to getting in and out. He said, I was able to get in here, but it won't let me out. Why? What's going on? Why can't I exit? I seem to have no trouble getting into this place, but getting back out afterwards is impossible. And, really? I feel like I am having a lot less time for before I start dying. And unfortunately, all of my gear is stuck in this room, and I can't get to it. Why am I having so much trouble with it? Because it should be a passage where I, because I can get through in one direction, but not the other. Really. No time to do anything. Where is the... Okay, I have to just use my fist le like when I'm starting the game and pound this out until I have an opening large enough to get through. This is going to take forever. This is not working at all. Alright, let's see if this is good enough. Well... No, I get stuck again. Hmm. I've raided tons of ships in the past. You would think that this one little starter area is going to be possible. Oh, well, obviously I have to do it from a position where I have the waterlogged area. <sighs> More time. All right, I recovered a few items, including my axe. So I'm hope so I will just chop down a few areas here, get a clear zone, because what I got right now is just not clear at all. And then maybe I could get that chest without dying. <sighs> I had so much trouble with the ship. Now, let's see what we got here. Uh, it's it's that thing right there. 
Is that pair of... Oh, all right. So I've got to... Actually, I put a door over here. Let's take care of this door. Let's move this... Maybe if I move this door into there... I can have a better chance. Well, not if I step out of it too soon. All right, now. Ah. Okay, good. Now, let's get rid of this, because this thing has killed me. I don't know how many times. There we go. Now, it'd be really nice if I were able to see, but that, that's... That unfortunately is not the case. <sighs> oh. oh, speaking of not being able to see, is it night time? No, but it's almost night time. Well, I'll be back in the dawn, and we'll try this probably at a safer moment. Now that we are in the following day, we can head on down and find out what's inside of this. Oh, am I going to get lost again? Probably. Alright. Let's breathe here. And now let's find that chest. Actually, I put a door inside here. It still feels dark. Well, now, let's see. Where did I put... Did I put this into a place where I can't actually get to the door? <laughs> All right, there we go. Where is... All right, here, here's the chest right here. Let's grab all this stuff. Iron, emeralds, because the emeralds that we could experience, I'll need to make up for what I lost in. And seeing how I completely lost the door, as usual. <sighs> I, don't know, I seem to be dying a lot faster with, by drowning than I usually have. So I'm wondering, what is it about this? Because I usually don't remember having so much trouble drowning in the past. Maybe it's been because it's been a while since I've played, so I didn't learn, so I forgot every technique I had for staying alive in this way. Now, oh, it's down that way. Oh, just fish. The lighting makes it impossible for me to find the navigation chest, which is actually the one I wanted the most, but I did finally find the food chest. B bamboo? Ooh, that's nice. In fact, did I get up here in time? No! Let's see what I have after all of that. I've got six emeralds. Some suspicious stew, a shield, uh, something, did something just happened there. It almost sounded like I had a reaction from my shield. I was wondering, was somebody throwing a trident at me? I mean, based on how things have been going here lately, I wouldn't be too surprised. All right, where was I? Oh, yes, a bottle of experience. The two bamboo is very, very good. All right, I guess that's it for that. Oh, and four moss blocks. That's excellent news. But I still haven't figured out what happened to that navigation one, and I think it's time to give up. It is just it's so dark and tight in there that I'm just not handling it right. Maybe... Sometime in the future, I could come back and find out if it's there or if it's lost or anything like that. But it is certainly baffling me at the moment. And actually, I don't care if these poisoned potatoes despawn. Let them despawn. Let me just get out of this frantic place because it has... just turned wild on me. Alright, there we go. Now, what have we got here? Now, can I get... 
all this stuff in my inventory or no wait, I have to leave something behind. Uh, let's see, the feather is too important. Let's see. What is the least important thing I've got in here? Spruce log. Dark oak stairs. Dark oak planks. Oh. Oh, spruce planks. Okay, I gotta. Well. Looks like I've got some inventory management. So, how about if I just meet you over. Oh, I don't need a wooden pickaxe. How about if I just meet you over back at base? That proved to be more of an adventure than I had intended. Well, at least I managed to get the provisions chest. I managed to get some bamboo out of that. I managed to get a negative good, some emeralds, which is always going really nice when you're dealing with villagers. So perhaps something will prove useful out of it. But for now, I think that's it for today. And next time, we are going to clear this out, get to a nice level area so that we can plan out what we... I think I'll just cover over this. Just put a torch down there, light it up so that it doesn't turn into a mob spawning area. We'll just light the whole place up. Put some cobblestone on it, maybe a layer of... Well, I don't have any torches at the moment. Well, I will, of course, have no trouble making torches with all this wood in this area. So I can light it up, then cover up, so that we could pretend that this little problem doesn't exist. But that's all for the next episode of Piney Plays Minecraft Pinetopia, the Museum of Pinetopia.